everybody knows the Tonto Dike brand actually is like a superwoman brand. Like I am a very strong woman. So positive positivity, negativity, I find a way to actually put it into work in my life. How? I try to use all of the critics and all of the love and apply it in myself to better myself. So really no publicity is bad publicity. I'm a woman who's not afraid to be vulnerable, who's not afraid to show strength, and who's not afraid to show every area of my life. So yes, um, in the recent time, I have shared the good and the bad, but I've come out stronger. I was 15 when I was pregnant with my son, and I decided to, to have my baby. I started to think of, my mother instincts kicked in. I started to think of everything possible that would be better for my son. Um, I love Lagos, and I do, um, I do know the effect it's had on me, and I do know what I do not want for my child. So I decided to you know, check around the state and the country to see where I could raise my son in the best way that I can. And I found Abuja very soothing. Education is great. Um, I'm not scared that my son will get corrupt either in school or with the neighbors. The neighbors are beautiful. You know, as, and as an actress or as a public figure, there's nothing like adoring your privacy, and they give me my privacy here in Abuja. So, you so it's great. That oh yes. Well, over the years, evolving as a, from a girl to a woman, my priorities has changed. I'm not just looking at entertainment anymore. I'm looking at conquering the world at large. So I'm into various things, and entertainment is illegal. Yes, but who says that I cannot bring entertainment into Abuja to stay? Well, yes. Definitely. At some point, you heal. Everybody heals at some point. I've healed. And if you want to stay down, it's your choice. But strength is a woman's thing, and I have it. I elude it. I do have a foundation. It's called the Tonto Dike Foundation. My foundation caters for a wide range of people in the society. We do cater for the rape victims. We advocate for the rape victims. We advocate for child molestation. We, are advocate, we ad also advocate for say no to domestic violence. And we do have so many initiatives and, and, and projects that we indulge in yearly. Um, we do co road constructions for for communities who have problems with your roads, especially the, the disabled communities, the um, Karamajiji colony. We also send, um, we have this initiative, the Back to School Initiative, which the Tonto Dike Foundation um, sends back at least 3,500 students every year back to school. We sponsor them. We also, we, we do a lot of things. We're also into women empowerment and youth empowerment. R recent times we have, um, I mean, everybody would acknowledge this with me, that the country is extremely hard. And it's hard because the, the rate of unemployment is increasing. And that is only giving birth to crime in the country. The rate of crime is becoming so humongous. The rate of suicide is becoming so humongous. And that's because our, our youths, our women, they're not indulging in something that will provide them money. You know, I keep saying something. The only reason why you have hoodlums on the streets is because you don't have handworks at hand. You don't have jobs that provide money. I mean, I went to school to read petrochemical engineering by the grace of God. But I'm an actress today. I'm a philanthropist today. I had to indulge in different things. So I empower women and youth to be strong and to indulge in things that would financially strengthen them and to make the country a better place. Well, we do, we do solicit for funds. And we do also have partners who partner with us and fund for us. International and local partners. Yeah, but most especially, we are still calling to all government officials, everybody out there who can partner with us, who can sponsor us. Because really, we do, we do need the funds to be able to carry out what, our passion, which is helping the country. And at the same time, you're also doing a good deed. So please, we need partners. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. But as for now, I'm just trying to do so much that it's not the forefront. But so definitely. No money in your life anymore. I do not talk personal life outside my home anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. First of all, I'll tell you it's massively filled with love. Like, it's, the love is like so big. Um, I wake up every day and what's on my mind is my son. I, um, I take care of my son from sun up to sun down. But yeah, in, the, in, in between, I get to work. I get to do, be a humanitarian. I get to be an actress. I get to be a businesswoman. But basically, my daily life, it's been a mom. It's, it's beautiful. It's it's extremely beautiful. Like I, I said, I always say something because I'm into women empowerment. I talk about women a lot. I, I say something that um, women empowerment is not is not giving women the power because we already have the power. We just don't know how much power we do have. So yes, um, I have so much power.
multitasking. I'm a woman, and that's what we're versatile in doing. So yes, um, and especially the love I have for my son, it just helps me be a great mom and helps me be a great person because I don't want to disappoint him. At the same time, I want my son to have the best. So yes, because of my son, my life is balanced. It's very sad, but yes, it's very true. I really didn't so much experience that because I came with a bundle of talent. Like, I had them calling me, not me calling them. It was not the other way around. I think it was just my time because I went for a reality TV show. So I wasn't hopping from one location to the other. I was just getting calls from one marketer from the other. So my story is different, but I do know that disgusting things like this happen in my industry. Well, yes, um, I am already doing that. Like I told you, I am in the middle of empowerment. My foundation actually advocates for empowerment, women and youth empowerment. Now, let me tell you something. If we had, if we had half of those Nigerians going, half of those Nigerian youths going out to Libya, if we had them empowered, set up business-wise, and they're making money for themselves, I'm not sure that trip would be viable. I'm not sure that trip would be would even be made at all. It's because we are not empowered, because we do not, we, the, the rate of unemployment is so much. Sometimes people don't even want to indulge in crime. And that's how they say, well, you know what, let me go to Libya and find something better. I think this is a call, a cry to the government, to Nigerians, to everybody who can empower people, empower the Nigerian youth. We need to, we really need to empower our youth and our, and our, and our women. I mean, these youths are the future leaders of tomorrow. And if our future leaders are in Libya getting killed, who will lead us? Yes, I, it's something that I pray for. It's something that my team, my team and I were working on. At, at the moment, we do have, um, we do have something with the um, Greek government. We are about to do a film with the Greek government on, yes, yeah. Um, the film is actually called Uvie. It's actually about um, hu a female Uvie. Yes, it's actually about uh, female human trafficking, um, say no to prostitution. So yes, I am getting to partner with a lot of foreign um, bodies. And yeah, Hollywood is my dream. And I, I hope and I strive so hard to get there. I didn't make mistakes with alcohol. I did make mistakes with cannabis. I did make mistakes with cigarettes. But you know what? I'm, I'm older. I'm above all of those things now. I have a son. You know, I always tell people when they say, you know, why did you quit? I, I, what if my, my son needs my blood tomorrow? What am I going to say to myself that I can't give my son blood because I still want to indulge in cannabis? Uh, well, I, I know it's not an easy thing to quit all of those things, but yes, I did by the grace of God. In the past, I used to get so upset that why would you think I'm bad? Why would you think I'm wicked? You know what, but the thing is, have you, if, if you ever sit back and watch my movies, I'm a very good actress. And... And I do it like it's real. So I, sometimes I don't really blame them. But the only thing I have to appeal to the public out there is the fact that you should know that we are entertaining you. I mean, this is just our job. It's like you going to the bank or you going to your, your job and in the night you go home to be who you are. It is our job. That is not my life. If I play the role of a prostitute very well, give me a kudos and tell me I did well. Because... I mean, I'm really not a prostitute in real life. So, yeah, that's mixed up. We, we, especially the actresses, not the, the, the male actors, now the actresses, we always have that, you know, confliction with our fans for it. But, yeah, I mean, it's, you guys just have to understand us because we love you and we do this for you. Right now, the only thing that can interest me is in a man is your love for God and the love for my son. You don't have any of them or you have any of them in 99% or not 100, no. For me, fashion is comfortability, whatever I feel comfortable in. That's me. I don't follow the trend. I don't dress with the crowd. I'm not, I don't see myself as trendy, but I do know that I'm very, very chic. I try as much as possible not to go to bed with my makeup. I have a, um, a particular cosmetic um, um, product that I use, which is Pearls International skincare product. And... Um, that's about all I do. I eat a lot of vegetables and I drink a lot of water. I try not to stress my skin by having injuries or staying under the sun for so much. I treat myself to spas once in a while because I'm very busy. But if you could, every month, kudos to you. Um, yeah, basically water, fruits, and a good, good lotion, Pearls International, yeah. I'm from Port Harcourt. And if you get to know my people, we are very local. We, ha we don't know how to travel. So traveling is not really my thing, but having my son has made me realize that I deserve everything 
amazing. So yes, from last year, I started traveling around the world without no limitation. But I don't have a destination. But so far, I love, I love Paris. Yes, I did undergo a surgery, a cosmetic surgery. But before my surgery, I had lost all my baby weight. I lost everything. So, um, but that was, I, I was, um, I was a little bit stressed out. And being a new mom, I started going back to work. I started to eat more healthier. I stopped breastfeeding. But I think breastfeeding was the only thing that made me add weight. So, I don't know, my, my body metabolism just went back to normal. And after that, I had a soul banging. I, I cannot answer that. I can't answer that. But I can say that sincerity, sincerity and, um, and motivation for marriage or in marriage is, is, is very important. People break up for different reasons. I mean, some people break up over toothpaste. So we can never compare a breakup to another. And I don't think anybody's happy over a breakup. For me, I would just look into the littlest details and I pay attention to every little thing, not overlooking anything. My son keeps me going. My son and God keeps me going. Just the promise that God has, you know, that's what God has said about my life. It just keeps me going. I mean, the word of God it keeps me going. I would like to do what I'm doing now. Empowerment. I would like to empower the youth. I would like to. I would like to put an end to unemployment because that is the origination of our of our of our um, our problems. I have seen amazing, amazing yes, I publications. I have seen productions who that are doing really well. So I cannot fault it. I mean, in as much as we st we would still have the lows, the highs are on the rise. There's so many people doing so well. There's so many um, advocacy movies coming out from Nigeria. Like I just talked about the one I'm partnering with the with the Greek the, the Greek government for that. It's an advocacy for that. And a lot. I mean, go to the cinemas. It's overtaking with Nigerian movies. And I'm so proud of you all. I'm so proud of every one of you out there. First of all, I'd like to thank every one of you out there who has followed, has supported, loved pushed my brand so far from the beginning to where it is today and you're still willing to go all the way with me thank you so much thank you and thank you to everybody who look up to me but first of all i like to say i do not want you to be like me i want you to be better than me and um i i want you to look at look at my mistakes and look at my achievements and you build your life from there um, direct is a cliche you know everybody says i want to direct i want to direct and yes even producing is a cliche but i do have I do have short movies, advocacy movies. I do have um, some scripts that I might, yeah, I might be, I might be producing very soon. I will not, I might be, I am producing. Let me just get real. I am producing very soon.